then uh, let's move to the next question I, actually i will explain about the matter first then we will consider the question uh, you are not at you were not attended the exams now so it's, it's it will be easy we know that there are so, uh, so many immunological reactions that is type 1 type 2 type 3 and type 4 first one is anaphylactic reaction type 1 is anaphylactic second is type 2 is cytotoxic type 3 is immune complex type 4 is delayed type uh, just remember about acidic a4 anaphylaxis cytotoxic immune complex delayed type in anaphylaxis that is type 1 reaction it will start the reaction start within 15 to 30 minutes same in case of cytotoxic also but uh, this immune complex will uh, take time uh, actually within six hours the delayed one that is actually delayed it will takes after it will start after 24 hours from the name itself we can say that all the three first three are actually an acute reaction the last one is delayed reaction then anaphylaxis we all uh, well versed about this uh, anaphylaxis reaction when there is an allergy, an acute allergy, then we uh, usually say that anaphylaxis reaction or allergic reaction had occurred. And we know that IgE, it is actually IgE mediated. So anaphylaxis reaction, we will get IgE mediated reaction. In cytotoxic, actually it is antibody and antigen uh, related reaction. So the antibody The immune complex that is one cause is formed. The reaction occurring here in the third type of uh, hypersensitivity reaction that is immune complex reaction. In delay type, T cells are actually mediating this reaction. The all other three are mediated by B cells. Only the delayed one is mediated by T, T cells. Then we know that first one is uh, antigen induced. Uh, to get any allergy or any other reaction, we had we need some allergen now. So that is antigen the second one is antibody directed next is antigen antibody complex that complex word is important antigen antibody complex is formed that will lead to the type 3 immune complex reactions uh, last one is sensitized sensitized uh, helper t cell it will induce cytokines and then macrophages that reaction you you don't want to remember these all things what you have to remember is the example first one is anaphylaxis reaction it may be systemic anaphylaxis or local anaphylaxis. Systemic anaphylaxis means uh, it may be uh, due to some systemic involvement. The whole body is uh, involved due to some drug uh, or some ingestion or something like that. In local anaphylaxis, due to some uh, antigen, locally, some local organ or local system is affected. That is local anaphylaxis. In case of hay fever, uh, food allergens, cut, uh, cutaneous angioderma, eczema. You remember these things, the example of these hypersensitivity reactions. Then cytotoxic. From the name itself, we can say that it is toxic to cell. That is, it may be due to, to uh, uh, toxic to some uh, blood cells or toxic to all the tissue. In case of blood, uh, the examples are autoimmune hemolytic anemia, hemolytic, cytotoxic. Uh, due to some transfusion reaction, the blood cells are distracted, cytotoxic, and erythroblastosis fetalis. You know the pathology. You have uh, studied about uh, these in the medicine and all erythroblastosis fetalis, idiopathic thrombocytopenic purpura, thrombocyte cells, blood cells are affected, platelets, platelet cells are affected, the leukopenia, penia due to this cytotoxic distraction. In case of tissue, uh, Graves' disease or uh, Multiple uh, or um, myasthenia gravis, male sterility, male sterility in case of uh, male, the sperm cells are affected. In case of diabetes mellitus, one DM1 type one, what is happening here? Actually, uh, the insulin produ produ producing cells, the islets of Langer hands, are distracted by some antibodies, some auto antibodies. That is, in type one diabetes, there is no insulin production, the total destruction of islets of Langerhans have occurred. So in case of DM1, cytotoxic reaction is there. And against some organ transplant, these are cytotoxic reactions. 
and in uh, coming to immune complex reaction some immune complex uh, antigen antibody complex are formed and these are deposited in the basement membrane and that will produce this hypersensitivity reaction that is in case of good pasteur syndrome sle ra uh, that polyarteritis nodosa or drug induced vasculitis if you are having any difficulty to uh, memorize these type 3 you just leave it we will study all the other three the remaining one is of course the third one then last one reaction against microbacterial uh, microbacterial antigen that is tuberculin reaction you have to remember this tuberculin reaction we know that in case of tuberculin reaction uh, when uh, while we are uh, doing the test we measure uh, the uh, rash after 1 to 2 3 1 to 2 days na so of course it is a delayed type so tuberculin reaction is very important it's repeatedly asked uh, tuberculin reaction is coming under fourth type then reaction against virus infected cell reaction against tumor cell then uh, steve jobson syndrome you may ask me why steve jobson syndrome is not an anaphylactic reaction it is a uh, why it is a uh, type 4 uh, reactivity because in case of steve jobson syndrome while we are in, uh, uh, taking any medicine immediate ac action is not there it will take after one or two days the whole body is affected due to that drug and reaction is formed so it is a delayed type sometimes we have get confusion with anaphylaxis and delayed type uh, both are some reaction na so just consider the time if it is immediately acting then it is uh, anaphylaxis if it is taking time then it is delayed type that is the fourth one then we are going to the question you try to answer please mismatched pair in terms of hypersensitivity reaction is type 1 hay fever that is anaphylaxis acidic anaphylaxis type 2 type 2 diabetes type 3 good pasteur syndrome type 4 tuberculin reaction um okay i got the answer from amrita yeah and dalshi okay. the answer is b what's wrong here miss uh, it's asking mismatched pair na type 2 means cytotoxic it is not type 2 diabetes type 2 diabetes is entirely different it is insulin insensitivity here type 2 diabetes is not the type 1 diabetes is coming under type 2 hypersensitivity reaction okay